Hi, it's Alice Nation here again. Oh god, I have a huge pimple and it's so annoying. God, anyway, I'm reviewing another Living Dead doll right now. I know I was going to do the mall haul, but I think I will save that for later. I bought a bunch of trashy stuff. So. But, um, I got this doll at Hot Topic. And his box has a couple, not dense, but... You can see that, clearly. But still, his box is in pretty good condition. Just a couple of scratches. I really do not worry about the box unless I buy the doll for a lot of money. But I just, I bought him for $26.99. And, oh my god. I was really surprised by um the quality of the picture. Inside his box because um I know this one was like really um detailed and I don't know but in the other ones it seems kind of faded except in maggots it seems like as clear as maggots and they're Sin, Sadie, Posey, and Damien all from series one I don't know why they didn't add the exorcist but okay so the guy I got is Heyman and he's from series 19 so you can see him there. He's my seventh doll. Sorry. Uh, I put my hand on the webcam. <laughs> so, he's um, supposed to be based on a Shakespeare character, I think I read. But my dad told me he looks more like Dracula. And I, I agree with him completely. I saw this um, funny little thing um, where this kid named Klaus, he has um, the same Heyman doll. And he nicknames him Larry, and then he's, like, obsessed with um, Larry, which is Heyman. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty funny. So I got him. I really wasn't planning to get him, and he was not one of my favorites until I got him, and now I absolutely love him. I really like the gorier ones, but um, I'm not allowed to get the um, really, really gory ones. Hopefully I can get Dawn. But my mom really doesn't like the gory ones. She doesn't like my, my two vampires, Zagon or Heyman. So let's start with his box. The box came in okay condition. Well, I should say better than okay. It wasn't a mint because of the scratches, but the doll came in mint, of course. It was new. So he has the blood rich tissue paper, like all the other Living Dead dolls from that series have. No, how has a lighter color, I, I believe. So, um, here he is. His clipboard poem. And if somebody can tell me um, the name of Heyman from a Shakespeare play, I would really appreciate that because I read his, he was, he was um, someone, Heyman from a Shakespeare play. That's what I read when I was um, trying to get Sabbath of Blood. Heyman, a warning to all the living, there shall be a great red flood. No mercy and no forgiving, a Heyman shall have your blood. And then it says children of the night. I love the clipboard art. Um, I love the Dracula's castle thing in the bats and then Heyman's picture right there. It's really cool. Like Agana, but Agana seems more than see. So, um, I hereby certify that on the 24th day of August, 1821, Heyman. Heyman was never a nice sunny boy, but rather all fang, bloodlust, and hate, until a nice boy learned just how to destroy and to stake through his heart to seal his fate. So Heyman was probably, um... A gothic little boy or something like that this is the morticians and the date which was um, August 24th 1821 they screwed it up online it said it was November something so yeah now on to the actual doll he comes with the um, boots black um, undertaker type of boots comes with black pants um, a long jacket that almost looks at it as if it is a cape. I thought it was a cape when I first saw it. And then his shirt. And his shirt can is Velcro, so it can be untied from here. And my friend and I started, like, pretending it was Edward Cullen or something. But he's very pale, surprisingly. A Ghana, unlike him, is a dirty white color. And his, his hair is, like, velvety fuzz. It's so fuzzy. 
He has thick looking eyebrows. Very thick. He has a cross and I am a kid told me because I haven't read Dracula yet. I'm still reading um this book called Story of a Girl. It's about a slutty girl and I don't like it. But um I'll read Dracula as soon as I'm done with that book. So um someone told me like when they put a wafer on a vampire's head, the scar of the wafer just stays there. So that's probably what the cross is supposed to be. And he has red, orange, no, no, no. Yeah, red out here, orange, and then it's like a light olive green, and then black. Eyes, his eyes are very detailed. And his blood is very detailed, and it's shiny too. He doesn't have fangs, surprisingly. Um, but I still really like him. He's, he's on my top ten favorites now, I mean. I absolutely love him. Sadly, I only have two of my top five favorites. And that would be um, Maggot and Agana. I still need Toxic Molly, Lou, and Rain. And then I'll be done with my top five favorites. I think Rain is in a possibility right now, though. Because I spent a lot of money at the mall. So, um, anyway, that's it for my review. And um, I love you. Bye.